Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Mount Zion Center Assembly podcast. We are a faith-based organization based in the beautiful island of Jamaica in the West Indies. We worship on the Sabbath day and if you want to know more about us, then you can visit our website at mzsa.org. And so my name is Navita Milton Riley. I attend the Georgia Assembly. And so I'm going to be introducing my co-host, Brother Roberts, Brother Trevon Roberts, who is a member of the Pimento Walk Assembly in Jamaica, and Sister Nicole Bihari, who is a member of the Florida Assembly based in the United States of America. Welcome, guys. Um, Welcome, welcome. Um, As Sister Navita had said, I am Trevon Roberts. I am a member of the Pimento Walk Assembly based in Pimento Walk, Ocherius, St. Anne, Jamaica. I, I have been lucky enough to be born in the church, but I have been baptized since November, since 2010. So going on 12 years now, not, not doing too shabby, not doing too shabby. Um, this is a new forum for our church. Um, corona has took a lot from us as people. Corona um, mm-hmm. has taken our loved ones. Corona has taken our jobs. Corona has really done a lot. But um, in regards to my organization, or organization, Mount Zion, it has blessed us because it has given us the push to mainstream the church. So since Corona of last year, things like last year, March, we've started streaming first in the Georgia Assembly, then the Florida Assembly, Stony Point, and here in Pimento Walk. And mm-hmm. in time in time to come, much more will come along and we will continue to spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which we intend to do in this means as well. Just declaring the words of God, declaring the lifestyle of God, because sometimes people can misconstrue um, what it is to really live for God. So we do hope that you enjoy. We hope that you tell a friend to tell a friend and share and be inspired in Jesus' name. Thank you. And Nicole? All right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for having me. As uh, Sister Riley introduced, I'm Nicole Bahari, a sister in the church in Mount Zion Sanctuary Assembly as well, based in Florida. I've been a part of the faith for about 15 years. I've been in Mount Zion since 2014, so that's about six, seven, year, seven years. And so throughout the process, it has been wonderful. And coming together on this platform will be something really unique and um, pose a, a challenge, but a worthy challenge for individuals. And as um, Brother Robert said, that the pandemic has brought us many, many different things and ways to adjust our lives. And so... We, we aim to use this platform to attract those who um, have been affected, whether it's mentally, spiritually, however you have been affected, this will be like a, a, a platform for you to release and to, to, to be poured into. And so whatever we do here, it's for your upliftment, for encouragement, to, to bring us back to that um, place where um, whatever grounds we have lost, as well as to show us that in any circumstances, we can, we can prevail, you know, we can use different medium that is available to us to not just spread the gospel, but to reach someone who is near at hand, far at reach. And so we're using this and I pray and we hope our aim is that uh, we not just have you listen and walk away, but have you listen with a purpose, walk away with a mission and know your goals and know that um, in spite of all that we, we face in life, there is something that that is there to, to sustain us, you know, and, and I pray that this may be a platform that we find useful for up, our upliftment, not just for the church, but for um, people at large, where you can come and, as um, was said, attract others and bring others with you to hear of something new, hear of something special, something unique that you can tell um, those around you about. And so I'm Nicole again, and welcome to our podcast, and I hope that it will truly be a blessing to your souls. Awesome. This is this is really exciting for us as a church. Um, as you mentioned, Trevon, that we are segueing into something new, some uncharted territories. But, you know, we trust that God will lead us as we do everything um, based on faith. And 
and that those who hear will truly be blessed. And so we are one organization, but we do have different audiences that we are hoping to reach. And so far we are hoping to reach a young people's audience, a youth audience, a woman's audience, and a man's audience because we can't leave out our men. And so I'm going to ask you, Trevon, to just share a little bit about what that is going to be about. What, what is the man's section of the podcast going to entail? All right. Um, we will be having a little bit of everything to cater for everyone. So though it is a religiously based podcast, it won't just be scriptures and um, sermons type of a deal. But we'll be speaking of a man's perspective, um, how we as men live, how we live our lives from day to day, the challenges that we face, the things that we, we go through. And um, just being a man for God, um, we'll be speaking about things such as, even just now I was brainstorming while Sister Nevita and Sister Bihar were speaking, um, about possible topics for our segments. And I, was think, I was thinking about things like working in the vineyard, referring to um, how we as, as men have to provide for our families and the struggles that some men face, um, especially in this corona period being laid off. When, when you lose your job at um, your hotel because the hotel was closed, what have you been doing? How has your family been um, thriving and um, stuff like that? Um, for young, younger men, um, how, to, how, how to walk in the fire, you know? Or to, 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 to walk in the fire. If you know, you know. I like that. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and um, just, just, just stuff like that to cater to the male audience because a lot of the times we as people, we're felt to feel alone. Sometimes you're going through a thing and while, while, you, you might, while there are persons set up in your church, set up in your surrounding or whatever that you can talk to, sometimes you might feel as embarrassed or for whatever reason, you don't feel like sharing. And so we... we aim to bring about awareness for if, for those looking on to know that if such a person have been through this, I can do it as well. I'm not alone. I'm not the first. And God, God is able. So we just be going into a, a man's life in our podcast. All right. Thank you. Sister Nicole, what, tell us what the youth podcast will, it, will, it, will entail, what it will be about. Okay, so similar to what Brother Roberts um, shared, that although it's it's a youth podcast, it's not just for the youths only. It's centered, it's focused on the youths and, and encouraging the youths, but it, it, it extends towards the, to those who are outside of the youth range. Um, but nonetheless, we will be touching on a variety of topics. And uh, we know that when we gather for our, our formal church setting, there are certain things that we don't discuss that, are, that may not be appropriate for the time or the setting that we're in. And so with this youth podcast, um, it aims at bringing out things that the youth struggles with, things that they battle, um, whether it's mentally, physically, whatever it may be, handling peer pressure, um, handling mental illnesses, um, dealing with... Um, approach the ways to um, handle young marriages in the church um, that are often overlooked sometimes. And so different different topics will be discussed throughout the youth podcast to encourage our youth, uplift our youth, um, allow them to know that um, they're not alone. You know, have um, there are different people that they can go to and provide them with, with, with sources, not just tell them information, but provide them with resources, things that they can use to help them as young people in the church. And so we know that our, our youths are the future. And as we said, it's not just those in Mount Zion, but we're looking to, to, to attract youths at large and everybody at large. And so what we put out is, is the reality of what we want for God to do with our, our youths, our young people. And so um, our aim, we're not just a group just coming together to just talk and we, we hear this all the time. You can go on YouTube and possibly search all the topics that we'll touch and you hear somebody talking about it. But specifically, we want the, the, the hand of God to be in everything that we deliver so that we know that um, we can reach somebody because if it's just a person talking, 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 and there's no substance behind it, you won't reach anybody. And so with this podcast, we aim to really have God um, touch um, the youth in a way that we ourselves cannot do. 
and so we we intend to avail ourselves and use this this podcast to uplift and to bring and to try to restore some of the things that are broken and so that's basically it for the youth podcast upliftment encouragement and um uncovering unmasking those things that we are afraid to talk about at times all right i i absolutely love what i'm hearing it it is really um a positive direction for the church because we we have so many distractions around us now to deter us from really focusing on what's important which is really our christianity our salvation and so i really hope that this will be something that will really push people to you know strive for god and to live for him and so um our woman's podcast as you as you two um shared earlier is not just for women solely we hope that we will reach a larger audience but we also hope that we will be able to help women that are in the church who are suffering in silence who are struggling help them to know that you're not alone as 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 you echoed before brother roberts that this is not unique to you this is not just for you people have gone through this and they're living their lives happily you know and that is one of the thing that i really want to do to help others to realize that you are not in this alone and so if you've gone through something painful like a miscarriage or you've been abused or you've had to live with fibroids or whatever it might be that you are not alone and we're in this together we're in this to help and to uplift and to motivate and to lean on each other because kingdom is really the goal and we have to navigate through so many different things to actually get into the kingdom of god but he tells us that it is possible and so we are providing different avenues and support for people so that they can really believe that hey we can make it in this world you know and so i am really excited about this venture i'm really happy that we are making the time to do this because um as a church you know you want to cater to everybody you want to cater to your young people your middle age your old people your men your women your girls you want to cater to everybody and so i am truly grateful to be a part of this movement and i trust that you know as we as we go forward that god will truly lead us that he will inspire us you know we need that inspiration and that people will just be blessed and will be drawn to our heavenly father so as we close out this introductory um episode is there anything else that you guys would like to add any final words that you would want to leave for our listeners ah uh, yeah i think you said it all but we're excited i hope the listeners will be excited and look forward to this podcast as well and behind what we do we seek for inspiration divine inspiration and so we're here to not just encourage you but to encourage ourselves and like and as we all shared that this is this um though it is center specific we have specific themes or areas areas that we cover we 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 hope to extend to everybody and so with the men the women the the young people everybody is is um included in this platform and so we're hoping that this may be a blessing to you it may be something that you can spread and that you yourself may be inspired to in your own way be a blessing to somebody else and so we're excited we're looking forward to it and so this introduction is just a tip of what's to come of the greatness that the lord has in store and so i pray that you know we may find this um amusing and um inspiring to go on and to to come come out and and listen to what we have to offer what the lord has to offer and that we will be blessed amen and my my final words will be very simple just prepare to be blessed all right 
thank you guys so much so much so much for um joining me this evening and so to all of our listeners out there as brother robert said before tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a mother to tell a brother to tell a sister to tell a cousin to tell an auntie and the list goes on we want you to share this with the world so that we all can receive of this blessing all right god bless you <laughs>